So a fact, a frequently asked question that I am commonly asked a lot is, do you drive? Do you drive? What are your limitations? What are your things? When did you start driving? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I am here to answer those things for you. So yes, I do drive. Um, I've been driving since I was, I well, I started learning how to drive late teens into my early 20s and then I got my license when I was 20 years old and so um, as a driver as a licensed driver um, the one of the myths out there about albinism is that albinos are unable to drive because of the fact that our vision is severely low and for a long time I had bought into that myth until because I told y'all I I was a special kid. So I just, I believed almost anything negative that anyone had to say about being an albino, albinism, anything like that. I just, I, I believed it all. But over time, as I grew and I understood more, I began to realize that I could go and do those things. Of course, with some limitations, but for the most part, I was gonna be able to go forward and do them. So again, like I said, my parents began teaching me in my teen years, and then I got my license when I was 20. And um, from there, I've been driving ever since. Now, my limitations are that um, driving at night is not very easy for me. I only do it if I really, really, really do have to. But as a rule of thumb, I typically do not because I don't see well at night. Um, I see better in the morning time when the sun is out. But as far as that nighttime light is concerned, I don't do well at night. So again, I really only go out if if it's a familiar place that I'm familiar with going to but as far as driving long distances and going out like that no if I'm just going up to the corner to the store or I'm going out to bible study or something like that it's cool it's fine I'm familiar with those routes and those places but anything beyond that I will not do because my vision is not great at night uh, again it's great in the morning when you know the sun is out and things like that but it is not very great at night i just i have the most horrible time being able to see so no not at all if i don't have to do it i'm not going out to do it and if it's not a part of my familiar route i'm not going out i'm not driving um another thing is that i don't do highways and freeways my vision is already low so doing a freeway and a highway is absolute torture on me because you're going at such high rates of speed. And then occasionally my eyes will, um, the nystagmus will kick in and my eyes will be moving back and forth rapidly. When I'm out on the streets, because I'm going at a much slower rate or slower pace, I'm able to contain it a little bit more. But on a freeway or a highway, that is an absolute positively no, not going to happen. So I don't do highways and freeways. Those are strictly restricted areas for me because of the fact that you go at such high rates of speed it's hard to read those signs when you're going that fast for me it's hard so i don't drive highways or freeways it's only um, streets and things like that for me i don't do anything beyond that uh another thing what's something else oh this the rising sun and the setting sun really affects my eyes um i when i'm on my way to work I typically am on my way by the time, the, the the route in which I go, the sun is rising behind me. So it's not that much of a, of a difficulty, but if I am driving and I'm facing the, the rising sun and oh my gosh, that setting sun, it's a wrap. I really don't function that well. So my ideal driving time is anywhere between the sun rising and setting because anything after that, Due to the fact that we have no melanin in our eyes, that light sensitivity is no joke. Like I said, I am fine after the sun sets, before it sets. I'm good in that middle point, but anything after that is torture on my eyes. And another reason why I don't like driving at night is because of headlights. Light sensitivity is real, y'all. So... It's difficult driving and those headlights are beaming in your eyes and your eyes are beginning to hurt and just have all types of things going on because of the fact that, again, we have no melanin. So it affects my eyes. Headlights really do affect my eyes. So 
that's another reason why I try to stay off of the streets at night. Again, if it's not an absolute necessity or if it's not like on my familiar route plan, I am not driving at night. I am not going out any long distances. I'm not doing anything like that. And then again, when it comes to freeways and highways, that is an absolute no. It doesn't matter if it's the daytime or the nighttime. I do not drive highways and freeways because my vision cannot take that at all. Um, already, even with me wearing eyeglasses, my vision is still not 2020. It's still not perfected. It's enhanced a little bit, but beyond that, I really do depend on uh, GPSs and the routes that my parents have showed me. Thank God for my mom and my dad, because I have I, I have Dallas pretty mapped out thanks to them. They have shown me some really great routes. I don't know all of it, but the areas that I like to frequent and go to, I know how to get there. So um, I, I'm so thankful for my parents really doing that. And um, again, like I said, beyond that, those are my limitations, just the, the darkness and then the freeways and the highways. And then, like I said, the rising and the setting sun. Tell me if that affects y'all, but it really does affect me, especially that setting sun that is a beast like oh oh my gosh that is a beast i try to make sure i am home at the time that sun is setting because oh my gosh that setting sun is torture it is torment light sensitivity is real if you don't understand you won't know but light sensitivity is absolutely positively real so again yes i do drive but those are my limitations and um if you want to drive, go out and try it. Um, again, people with albinism, we do drive. Some of us do, some of us don't. Some of us opt out of driving. Some of us don't feel like doing it anymore. I'm almost at that point. So, so um, again, it's a myth that's totally untrue. We are able to drive. Of course, we have to have our corrective lenses on. We're not, we, there's no way we can drive not a licensed driver without our corrective lenses. If you want to be a licensed driver, you will have to have corrective lenses. So we have to have those, be it contact lenses or eyeglasses. But beyond that, we have our limitations, but we are able to drive. So that's my tea on driving.